Guess what I got in the mail? It's my new PXG full set of golf clubs. Hey friends, it's Shen here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've been following along, you know that I recently had a two hour full bag fitting with PXG Canada. This box is completely new. I just picked it up downstairs from Concierge. It took just over a week, so seven business days, give or take, for me to receive these clubs. And I think that's a really fast turnaround. So I'm super happy about that. See, there's two. I can't lift this up for the camera, so there's two here. I'm assuming these might be my irons and these are my other clubs. Ooh, there's one. This is quite heavy. second box. Alright, so it looks like this package contained two boxes, one for my irons and one for my woods and hybrid. My bag and hat that came with the promotion will probably come in another package later on. So we're going to continue with this video. I have my laptop here so I can tell you exact specifications for each of my clubs. Let's start off with the big dog, aka the driver. All PXG woods and hybrids come with a really nice thick head cover. Like all head covers, the branding is a little obnoxious, but at least the color scheme is nice and neutral and sleek. In the front, there is this magnet that can stick to golf carts, which is a really cool design. And the inside is super plush to protect your club heads. At this point, I should mention that I did get the full bag promotion with PXG, which means all 14 clubs in this video will be under the Gen 4 lineup. I did try other golf clubs, check out my fitting video to see more. I tried out the O211s, the Gen 5s, and just overall performance, I found that Gen 4 was the best fit for me. It's also a cheaper option from Gen 5, so that's why I went with this lineup. I will link my PXG fitting video in the description and in the cards, so feel free to go check that out after. I did try out different shafts and club heads and then ended up eventually with the set that you're going to see in this video. So let's jump back into the video. For the driver head, I decided to go with the Gen 4 0811X in 10.5 degrees. Using the tungsten weights at the bottom of the club, we were able to adjust the weight on the club head to be closer to the heel because that is where I tend to make impact the most. I love that the driver head has a really sleek feeling and also we adjusted the hosel to a flat standard. For the driver shaft, I went with the Mitsubishi Tensei, I think that's how you pronounce it, AV Raw Blue 55 in Flex R2. I got the same shaft across all of the clubs which are the PXG Z5 Black Undersize. Attached to the driver in the packaging is this adjustment tool that I believe is used to adjust the tungsten weights on your own at home. If I wanted to change, for example, my driver head to be centered instead of heel heavy. I got a 3 wood and a 5 wood. Both came with these really nice head covers. Let's take a closer look at the 3 wood. I got the Gen 4 0341X. The tungsten weights here are 5 in the front and 10 in the heel. Again, just to reinforce the heel of the club, which is where I make impact the most. I like that these woods have a very low profile, which just means that they're very thin. I find that it's easier to hit off the deck, which means not teed up just straight from the fairway or the rough for me personally. For the woods shaft, I went with the Evenflow Riptide CB 5.0A, which just means it's a senior flexibility in 50 grams. I got one hybrid. This is the 4 hybrid in 22 degrees. I got the Gen 4 0317X. The tungsten weights here are adjusted to 15 in the front and 2.5 in the heel. We decided to keep this one pretty centered because it's kind of like an iron extended, if you know what I mean. My hybrid shaft is the Project X Cypher 50i 5.0.
for irons, I got 5 iron to gap wedge. The G and W should be flipped here, and W is equivalent to pitching wedge. Let's take a closer look at the 7 iron. I went with the Gen 4 0311 P irons. Everything is set to standard except for the lie angle we made too flat. That's just because I do tend to make impact more upright and it's been causing a lot of my miss hits to the left and the draw shots. Hopefully this will fix it. My iron shafts are the same as my hybrid. I got the Project X Cypher 50i 5.0. Although for irons, they obviously get shorter as we move to the shorter irons. My second favorite set of clubs behind my driver, the wedges. Similar to my current setup, I got a 60 degree in a 13 loft and a 56 degree with a 10 loft. These are the 0311 Sugar Daddy 2 Chrome Wedges, what a name. I like that these have the tungsten weights closer to the front of the club head. That's very useful for wedges, especially used for flop shots. Also look at these grooves, they're quite interesting, right? Again, the shafts for my wedges are the same as my irons and hybrid, the Project X Cypher 50i 5.0. And last but definitely not least, we have the putter with this interesting head cover. I got the Battle Ready Bat Attack. The silhouette says it all, and I kind of like that it has the parallel alignments. It really helps with squaring up the club face. The grip I got is the Lampkin PXG Sync Fit in Skinny. Hello, it's the next day and my new golf bag has arrived. This package was surprisingly light, which is a good sign for a carry golf bag. Unlike the package that had all of my clubs in it, which were so heavy to carry upstairs. But we're gonna unpack this on camera with you guys and then gonna move all of my golf clubs into their new home. Also got this hat. I feel like I've joined a community or something, you know, like the Apple ecosystem. I am now part of the PXG ecosystem. Let me know in the comments how you guys like to organize your clubs. I would like to put my driver and putter in this top one, my woods in here, and then my longer irons and hybrid here, and then the rest of them here. And voila, let's head out to the range and test them out. Brief intermission to talk about finances. How much did I pay for my brand new set of Gen 4 PXG golf clubs? The total landed cost in Canadian dollars, that means tax and shipping included, was $3,463.45. In today's exchange rate, about 1 CAD to 78 cents USD, the total in USD is about $2,696. Let me know if you think that's worth it. That is for the 14 golf clubs you just saw, one golf bag and a hat. I personally think it's a good deal because I needed a new set of golf clubs that actually was fitted to my swing speed, my ball speed, and just, you know, my game. Also, my two-hour full bag fitting session at Peak Performance with PXG Canada was completely free. Purchase was not necessary, and again, I am not being sponsored or, you know, I'm not working with PXG on any of this content. I genuinely was just interested in trying out their golf clubs, and I personally enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me in welcoming the 14 newest members of the Golf With Chan YouTube channel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you want to see more of these guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!